Hi, I'm Mark Becca, and I've been working in the drain care industry for over 20 years. In this video, I will discuss some of the most common problems with lift station maintenance and provide you with the possible solutions that will do the job and get to the source of your problem. With lift stations, it can be difficult to understand exactly how and when to start maintenance or tackle your problem. I'm here to answer some of the most commonly asked questions regarding lift station problems and solutions, starting with, what are the problems within a lift station and what makes them bad? Well, the first one let's talk about is odors. Odors becomes a problem because it's for the, what I call the customers of that building. So whether a tenant or somebody shopping in the facility, if the odors are there, they have a tendency to not want to come back or not stay there. Um, so that becomes an issue with odors. Um, the, the bigger problem is the fat oil and grease side. Um, fat oil and grease is what actually caused the lift station to, to shut down um, because the floats don't work correctly. And this causes sewage backups in, again, like apartment buildings or a uh, space in a, a lower floor or something like that. So we want to make sure we keep the fat oils and greases to a minimum inside of a lift station. Here's a great question. If my lift station is causing me issues, what do I do? I mean, it's pretty easy. You have two choices. You can treat it mechanically so that I can have somebody come in and physically clean that system out and get rid of all the fat oils and greases that are causing the issues. Or two, you can treat it chemically, which is a little bit more proactive to keep those issues at bay. So we can use an emulsifier, um, like a grease be gone, or we can use a biological like linebacker to do that and keep those problems at bay. So I identify that I have the issue, and then the question you're gonna ask now, and the common question is, what are the products I'm gonna to use to take care of my issues? There's different things you can do here. We talked about floating degreasers for odors, uh, something like our cherry float would work well for that. Um, you can use the emulsifier to keep the whole pit um, kind of liquid, which is like our grease be gone. Or preferred way of doing it is biologically, so you don't have any issues downstream when you treat the lift station. Um, and you can use a product like linebacker or Eclusion drain line maintainer to actually digest what's in that so nothing can reform later down the line. Here's another question we get asked a lot. Why would I want a proactive maintenance program for my lift station? It's a pretty obvious answer. You don't want the issues you commonly get with a lift station like heavy fat oil and grease buildup, uh, which leads to backups of sewage into somebody's uh, apartment or something like that. So let's keep those away. Let's treat them with a biological product or emulsifier, just so those problems don't happen uh, in our lift stations. Okay, the last question we get is, what would be the best way for me to treat my lift station? Um, and that's really gonna depend on the lift station itself. No two lift stations are the same. What waste goes into one um, is gonna be completely different than the waste that goes in another one. So um, we kind of take that into consideration. If you're having an issue with odors, we would use a floating degreaser. If you're having issues with fat cells and greases, we're probably gonna use a biological product to take care of that. But we will choose the best product for you to make sure that your problems go away. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you want more information on our products, you can go to stateindustrial.com or you can fill a contact us form.